SpaceX, led by visionary entrepreneur Elon Musk, has been a key player in commercial space transportation. Their Crew Dragon spacecraft has successfully transported astronauts to and from the ISS, demonstrating reliability and efficiency. Now, NASA seeks to assess SpaceX's emergency response capabilities, a critical aspect of crew safety. So NASA has given SpaceX a new contract that has triggered a lot of speculation in the space industry and beyond. The nearly $1.4 million deal aims to conduct a special study of emergency response capabilities. The main purpose of this agreement is to assess how fast SpaceX can deploy the Dragon spacecraft in an emergency, such as retrieving crew from the International Space Station, ISS. While the document does not refer directly to the ongoing Starliner mission, the implications of the agreement are important and far-reaching. The $266,700 contract was posted via an official website that tracks federal contracts. According to preliminary details, the contracting agency is the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, and the partner in this agreement is SpaceX. Given the relatively modest amount, especially compared to other industry contracts, the purpose of this agreement appears to be a focused study rather than a full operational measure. The main objective is to determine how quickly SpaceX can launch the Dragon spacecraft in emergencies, such as retrieving crews from the ISS. The deal's low price tag compared to normal crew-related flights and capabilities provides some insight into the nature of the work involved. Rather than adding physical changes or new hardware, this study will likely consist of extensive paperwork, simulations, and calculations based on SpaceX's existing hardware and its capabilities. This suggests that NASA is exploring a theoretical framework for estimating response times in various emergencies without immediate plans to implement new infrastructure or equipment. The idea that the deal relates to the Dragon spacecraft is currently speculative but well established. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft is a logical candidate for such emergency response studies because of its current capabilities and NASA crew-related targets for the future. While the agreement does not explicitly state that it relates to Dragons, the conclusion is reasonable given SpaceX's track record and ongoing missions involving the Dragon spacecraft. Let's delve deeper into contract outline's specific objectives. SpaceX will meticulously evaluate the entire process leading up to a Dragon spacecraft launch in emergency scenarios. This includes pre-launch procedures, which ensuring that all necessary checks, verifications, and safety protocols are efficiently executed before liftoff. Fueling readiness, assessing how swiftly the spacecraft can be fueled, considering factors like propellant loading and tank pressurization. Launch preparedness, verifying that the Dragon is fully equipped, systems are operational, and the crew is ready for departure. When an emergency arises aboard the International Space Station, ISS, crew retrieval becomes a high-stakes operation. Imagine an astronaut suffering a medical crisis or a critical system malfunction jeopardizing their safety. In such scenarios, SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft plays a pivotal role. Here's what happens. Step 1. Emergency identification, in which mission control detects an emergency situation on the ISS, a sudden illness, equipment failure, or any life-threatening event. The stranded astronaut's health and well-being are the top priority. Then step two is about SpaceX alert and coordination. Here SpaceX receives an urgent alert from NASA. The Dragon spacecraft, which is always on standby, prepares for deployment. Step three, launch readiness. SpaceX engineers ensure the Dragon is fueled, systems are operational, and life support functions are functioning optimally. Calculations for the optimal trajectory to reach the ISS are refined. Step four, rendezvous and docking. The Dragon launches and maneuvers toward the ISS. Precise orbital mechanics come into play as the Dragon aligns with the station. Docking mechanisms engage, and the Dragon securely attaches to the ISS. Step 5. Crew transfer. The stranded astronaut boards the Dragon, leaving the ISS. The Dragon's life support systems seamlessly accommodate the additional crew member. Farewells are exchanged with fellow astronauts. And the safe return, the Dragon undocks from the ISS. Orbital calculations guide its re-entry trajectory. Parachutes deploy and the capsule splashes down in the designated ocean area and finally mission success. The rescued astronaut steps onto Earth, greeted by cheers and applause. SpaceX's rapid response and precise execution ensure crew safety crew retrieval scenarios involve a delicate dance between the ISS, mission control, and SpaceX, a testament to human ingenuity and collaboration in the unforgiving environment of space. Wait, did you know what Dragon spacecraft is? Let me tell you. The Dragon spacecraft, developed by SpaceX, is a remarkable achievement in space transportation. It is capable of carrying up to seven passengers to and from Earth orbit, making it a crucial vehicle for crewed missions. Notably, Dragon is the first private spacecraft to transport astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS, 
marking a significant milestone in commercial space travel. Its versatility extends beyond crew transport. Dragon can also return substantial cargo to Earth, making it an essential workhorse for resupply missions. Equipped with Draco thrusters for maneuvering and Super Dracos for launch escape, the Dragon ensures crew safety during emergencies. Its sleek design and cutting-edge technology exemplify SpaceX's commitment to advancing space exploration. Let's move towards technical challenges associated with SpaceX's emergency response capability assessment. The adaptation of the Dragon spacecraft, which was primarily designed for routine crewed missions, not emergency scenarios. Adapting it to handle unexpected situations requires careful engineering. Engineers must modify systems, interfaces, and procedures to ensure seamless transitions during crew retrieval. Balancing safety features with rapid deployment is critical. Any alteration should not compromise the spacecraft's primary functions. The next challenge is going to be orbital mechanics and trajectory calculations. Rendezvousing with the ISS demands precise orbital calculations. The Dragon must align its trajectory to intercept the station. Small errors can lead to missed rendezvous or collision risks. Engineers must account for Earth's rotation, gravitational forces, and station position accurately. Real-time adjustments during the mission are essential to maintain the correct path. They can also face challenge in communication and coordination. Coordinating with mission control, the ISS crew, and ground stations is complex. Timely information exchange is crucial. Clear communication protocols ensure seamless transitions during crew transfer. Contingency plans for communication failures or emergencies must be in place. The challenges are not over yet. They have to manage life support systems integration. The Dragon's life support systems, oxygen supply, temperature control, waste management, must accommodate additional crew members. Ensuring stability during the entire mission, from launch to splashdown, is challenging. Redundancies are vital. Any failure could jeopardize crew safety. Now the final challenge, capacity adjustments and return vehicle constraints. The Dragon's return capacity, typically designed for four astronauts, must be adjusted for emergency scenarios. Engineers evaluate weight limits, consumables, and re-entry dynamics. Balancing crew comfort, safety, and available resources is a delicate task. The SpaceX can face intricate technical hurdles. Balancing adaptability, precision, communication, and life support to execute successful emergency crew retrieval missions. SpaceX is currently operating seven active Dragon spacecraft, which includes four crew Dragons and three cargo Dragons. The company has demonstrated high-level operational readiness and reliability with these spacecraft, often preparing them for upcoming missions due to ISS rotations. This routine preparation, combined with frequent Falcon 9 rocket launches, supports timely responses during critical moments that may arise within just a few weeks. In our exploration of NASA's new contract with SpaceX, we find a pivotal focus on emergency response capability. The primary objective of this contract is to assess how swiftly SpaceX can deploy its Dragon spacecraft during critical situations, such as retrieving a crew from the International Space Station. As SpaceX and NASA collaborate, this study represents a crucial step toward enhancing crew safety and reinforcing our commitment to space exploration. Thanks for watching.